This custom ROM's name is now changed. It was previously known as Proton Plus. In case you don't know, Proton Plus is or basically was one of those custom ROM which was bringing you stock kind of UI, stock pixel UI with, of course, some of the enhancements there. And this one is Genesis OS, a new name for this custom ROM, and it's still good enough. I guess it's based on Android 14, so we have installed the official version. Let's see which other things they get here and is it worthy? If you want to try it out on a device or not, as it is based on Android 14, it's updated almost almost every month. It is going to give you update right now. It is having the February security patch. And as far as I know, the March security patch will also come very soon for this custom room. For now, as this is Genesis OS and it was previously renamed as Proton Plus, it was previously named as Proton Plus, it brings you almost everything what you need. For example, if you love this AI wallpapers, these are pre-installed in your case. So you can create a lot of AI-based wallpapers very easily. By default, you don't have to install any separate app for that. You just need to update your default apps or pre-installed apps here from the Google Play Store and you are good to go. Some cool, interesting wallpapers are here as you can see. And if you want to apply any one of these wallpapers, if you like any one of these, you can simply click on the OK button here and you will be able to apply it on your device with a preview. So as you can see, this is how you can apply and this is how you can install and use AI wallpapers directly on your device. We also have some emoji wallpapers option support available too. As it is based on stock pixel, it is having all the stock pixel goodies. So as expectedly, the default launcher is pixel launcher. If you are one of the users who actually don't want to customize your device through the launcher, then pixel launcher is a great option and it's available by default. In case you want to ins install any other launcher, you can do so very easily by installing some Magisk modules or kernel SE modules. As of course, we are talking about pixel based this custom room. So yes, the quick settings panel is also in the dark mode. By default, it's in dark mode even in the pixel devices. So as in this case, but one thing is we have the separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles are available and just have to click to add tiles or click to remove tiles. You don't have to drag and drop, which you do by default. And one more thing is it supports pure black theme by default. So if you enable a dark theme, you have the option to choose between the pure black theme or the normal one. In most of the custom rooms, you have this option. In most of the custom rooms, you don't have that. But in case in your custom room, if it is not available, you can install and enable this feature by installing a repainter app or iconify mod in case it's not available. In more security section, in more security and privacy section, you will find the ignore window secure flags option which simply removes the screenshot and screen record limits for all the application. So basically, this will bring you some useful things too. It's not a customization focused custom room although, but still it brings you some useful things which you definitely need on your device. It also brings you the app lock support. So as you can see, the hiding apps option is also present there. You can enable the app locker for any particular app, even for the pre-installed apps, I guess. And this is a very useful thing. We have the option for ignore window secure flags, app locker. So the useful things related to customization related to features actually are present here. It's not a customization focus room, but the features are still good enough. One of my favorite thing of all time is the hide IME space option. It's present here in this custom room. So for, for this kind of thing, most of the times, if it is not available by default, I use a Magisk module for that. But in this case, it's a good thing. It's actually an advantage that this feature is already available there. It's pre-installed. So yes, some great things, some useful things are actually present in this custom room, which was previously Proton Plus. Now it's Genesis OS. It also brings you the game space, so don't worry, game space is also there. It's not like some things are missing from here. Most of the useful things are available here. For example, I enabled this game space app or this game space option in this app. So if I open this backdrops app, you will see the game space option right at the top, right at the top right. For example, if I open this, let me show you the UI. This is how the UI is looking like. As far as I know, it's a custom one. It's not the stock pixel like like UI. I don't use game space much on my device. So let me know in the comment box if I'm guessing it right at it is as it is not the default one. It's a custom one. Other things because this is literally same as compared to other devices or other custom rooms. 
So yes, we have same kind of things available there. In sound and vibration section, you will see the in-call vibration options are also not missing. These are present here. You'll be able to enable this option very easily. Display section also has the option for increased touch sensitivity and the quick settings customization has the option for data usage, which is a very, very useful thing. Last but not the least, we also have the OTA update option available. I'm not exactly sure if OTA updates perfectly work here or not, but it's present here and I guess it will work on your device if this custom home is officially available for you. So these are the things available. These are the most of the things I just wanted to let you know. In case you want to try it out on a device and if it is available officially, check it out. Link is already available in the description. If it is not available, you can try out unofficial version from your device community group. This is all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye.